So in this video, we are going to learn the alignment. You see here on the top, there is an alignment tab on the ribbon, and this alignment we are going to learn about the alignment. The shortcut for this alignment is Control One. We will see in detail about that. If you want to have the alignment form, you can click on here, double click on this point. And you can have this complete alignment form. We'll see how to use it again. Now let us uh, start the alignment. We are we are seeing here customer segment. In the last video, we have seen that uh, with the row and column format, we can adjust it like this. There is another method. Suppose I don't have much space, I I cannot increase my width. So what shall I do? I can go here and click wrap text. As soon as you wrap the text, it will wrap the text in two different lines. In this way also everything can be visible. Similarly, product category. I can select product category and wrap text. Now these both are left aligned. I can select both of them and click on here and put them in the center. In this way we can do this. Now another interesting thing here is merge and center. Now you see I want to do it like this. There are three corporate written up here. I can click on merge and center and press OK and it will convert it one single corporate word and it merge all the three cells together. Similarly, home and office. I can merge them together and OK. But see the error here. Merge cells only keep the upper left value and discard other value. So remember you should do this merge if there is data in multiple cells when the data is all same. If the data is, it is different, you should not do it so that you cannot lose your data. And OK like this. And similarly, office supplies this one we can merge up. And these office supplies here we can merge. This is one of the methods where we can, for better understanding, we can merge different cells. This may be a requirement. Now let us see in another case. Here is written a shortcut key. I can select these three cells here on the top and merge in center so that we can merge it out. Automatically it comes into center. Similarly, control plus one is also there. I can select up till here all and merge in center so that it will merge. And it is center, but it is horizontally central. Let us see what we can do. Now you see there are three rows in the alignment of a tab. There are three bottom alignment and three alignment on the top. The top alignment is if I click on the first symbol, it will take me to the top. If I took it middle, it will take me to the middle. If I the third one, it will take me to the bottom. So it is top, middle, bottom. This is for the vertical alignment. And the second row of this alignment symbols are left, center and right. So suppose if I want to put this here in the right center, how I can do it? I can do it on clicking it in the center of horizontal alignment and the center of the vertical alignment so that I can see it in the center. In this way, I can merge it out merge different cells and, and align them. Now there is another method where uh, what I can do is uh, I can click on this and I can change the direction of the text. I can have the vertical text. I can have control one like this from top to bottom or I can have it like uh, in, uh, in this fashion control one. I want to have this vertical text to be written. And if I don't want it, I can uh, again click on and have it in a normal position. So wherever uh, in bottom error I do, I, we can do that. Now let us click on this alignment tab also. Uh, double click on this tab. So now we can have the complete form of the alignment. Now you see in this alignment, there is a very uh, important thing, this number. Here is this number is uh, related to you can see here number this alignment is for this tab and this font is for this tab and here is bo border is for these borders up here and these fill is for fi to fill the colors up here 
protection is uh, for the protection and security of data and sheets we will do in some other like that later stage so in this manner we can uh, see uh, that this this one single form can open up all your uh, formatting tabs let us there is a shortcut for this also control 1 if i press control 1 then this form will open up but there is a catch with control 1 whichever the last format i have worked on with it will open that only You see it will open up with number only suppose the last one is font i have worked with font itself and i said okay now if i press control one again it will open up with font if i the last work is number and i said okay i worked with numbers and okay if i press control one again it will open up with numbers so for all that means for font for alignment and for numbers for all these things the shortcut is control 1